first alert for something coming up, right, Katie? <laughs> That's right, Dylan. Way to foreshadow that. So yeah, today's going to be good. So is tomorrow, but let's start with right now. Our current temperatures are fairly cool across the area, but nice, pretty pleasant. 61 in El Paso, 52 out there in Las Cruces, 56 in TRC, and 58 in Guadalupe Pass. We'll have a couple more cool hours, but what we've got to talk about is this next weather system that's going to be moving in. We're going to have a cold front that's going to be moving from the west to the east. That's going to bring down our temperatures finally to where we want them to be but it's going to pick up our winds by a lot. So you'll notice the winds both today and tomorrow aren't going to be too noticeable. But then on Tuesday, all the way up to 50 mile per hour wind gusts are possible and the winds are going to be coming from the west. So if you live on the east side of any mountains, that's something you're going to want to pay attention to for the rest of today or at least at nine o'clock this morning. Winds are going to be around 15 to 20 miles per hour, but this is not too abnormal for us in the borderland. We're pretty used to this by one o'clock this afternoon. Still seeing wind gusts up to around 20 miles per hour. That's going to continue through five. Then tomorrow winds will be quite pleasant. We're not going to notice them too much, especially tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, though, they'll be a little bit stronger, but only by around 10 to 15 miles per hour. It's Tuesday when I issued the first alert, and as you can see, look at all this red on the map. Wind gusts are going to be up to around 40, 45, possibly even 50 miles per hour across the area. This is lunchtime on your Tuesday, so definitely going to be feeling the effects of that. Once again, they're going to be coming from the west to the east. So if you live on the east side of any mountains, such as the Franklin Mountains or even the Sacramento Mountains, you could expect some wind gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. So you're definitely going to want to secure those loose items. Halloween is still on the horizon, so your Halloween decorations might be in peril for the next several days. Not going to be tracking much rain. I do have it at a 10% on your Tuesday, but I only have that for the upper elevations. So the mountainous range could a little bit of rain, but the rest of us are going to be very much dry. Today in Doniana County, 81 in Vado, La Mesa, 83 in La Union, same thing out there in Chaparral. In El Paso County, 82 in Fort Bliss, 81 Horizon City, same thing in Tornillo, 84 in Canutillo today. In our far eastern counties, 81 out there in Del City, 76 in Sierra Blanca, and 83 in Van Horn. This is still above where we want to be at. We'll stay above average for the next two days. Monday will be a little bit warmer than today. The first alert, that's for Tuesday. And notice the temperature drop as well. Winds are going to pick up on Tuesday. That low chance of rain for upper elevations. And then temperatures will finally be where we want them to be.